Today on the Daily Dose, Christy Girls. According to one art historian, the first Christy Girl painting appeared in an 1895 issue of Century magazine, most likely when future famed artist Howard Chandler Christy was a student at the National Academy of Design in New York City. A member of the Art Student League, an understudy to Impressionist artist William Merritt Chase, Art historians believe that the second Christie Girl cover was published in Scribner's Magazine in 1898, entitled The Soldier's Dream, portraying the painter's idealized vision of American female beauty, which would catapult Christie to preeminence from the 1890s through World War I and beyond. Like the Gibson Girl before him, Christie began producing posters and magazine covers that bestilled the hearts of young men while instructing young women about the desirability of aristocratic high-breeding and feminine daintiness. His fame intensified after his 1906 publication of two collections focused on his vision of female beauty, The Christie Girl and The American Girl, which helped to solidify his reputation as a top-shelf illustrator, at the same time imprinting an image of female beauty in the minds of highly impressionable young women of the day. After the outbreak of World War I, Christie was inundated with commissions by the U.S. government for PR posters, which urged Americans to buy war bonds, while others encouraged Americans to join the Red Cross, the Navy, and the Marines, not to mention a number of civilian volunteer organizations designed to lend aid and support to a war-torn European continent. Among his most popular posters were the Spirit of America, Gee, I wish I were a man, and fighter by bonds. After his popularity soared on the coattail of his Christie girls, from the 1920s until his death in 1952, Christie became a revered portrait painter to the rich and famous, including Presidents Teddy Roosevelt, Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, FDR, and Harry S. Truman. Other famous subjects include William Randolph Hearst, King Edward VIII, war ace Eddie Rickenbacker, fascist leader Benito Mussolini, and aviator Amelia Earhart. He also painted the now famous signing of the U.S. Constitution, inspiring Time Magazine to name Howard Chandler Christie the most commercially successful artist in America, making Christie Girls a bygone representation of idealized female beauty during the First World War. And there you have it. Christy Girls. Today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.